But I've always wondered that some of the equations, I mean, why is it the case that, 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 it is, that simple equations can work, even the inverse square law? Yes. I mean, why is it inverse square? Why wasn't it uh, instead of the square, one, you know, some long decimal point or something? That wasn't fully understood until Einstein. So in Einstein's theory, you can't change the inverse square law. Mm. Newton could have used a different law, and he just took the inverse square from experiment. Uh -huh. But in Einstein's theory, the inverse square is the only possibility. And why is that the case? Well, technically it's because Einstein's theory is a field theory. So there's no action at a distance between two objects. Rather, this one creates a gravitational field that this one sees. Mm -hmm. But the gravitational field of this one spreads in space. And because of the way the surface area grows as the distance grows, as it spreads in space, it falls off at such a rate as to produce an inverse square. Yeah. So it's just a geometrical fact about three space dimensions yeah. that you get an inverse square law. So an example of why physicists consider Newton's, sorry, Einstein's theory better than Newton's is that Newton could have changed the inverse square law and Einstein couldn't. So Einstein, if you like, explained the inverse square law. Newton just postulated it.